Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Just wanted to basically show an overview of how my drip system works um, and all the things that are optional and required. Apologize for my upkeep here. I need to clean up around some of this stuff. Um, so anyway, I'll start with a timer. This is what I use, the Kleber Video 2. This has been a very, uh, very reliable timer. This basically shuts the water on and off. So it's hooked to the water on. This is another component here. This little Y adapter, it's good to have because you can individually, basically have two uh, hoses and individually turn them on or off. So the spigot is turned on and this is in the on position. So the timer has the water off and then when it's programmed to come on, it opens the valve water flows through. The next component is the backflow preventer, which is this piece here. This keeps water from going back into your uh, water system, water system um, which is a, you have to have this. And this is an inline filter. So there's a filter media in here, catches any, uh, in case there was something in the water, particulates would keep it from get, go, clogging up your uh, your drip emitters and stuff and this is a pressure reducer it gets the pressure down to 25 psi so it keeps a constant pressure on your system and you really need that and these this is a connector this is a the main line half inch main line and these uh, I don't know what they're called but they're basically like compression fittings that this part screws on and then there's a compression fitting that connects the actual line to this connector. So this goes out to the next part that's optional is a fertilizer injector. You don't need to have, you don't really need this. Um, you could use, um, just run water to your plants and then use like a slow release fertilizer like Osmocote or something mixed in. That's what I did the first, uh, first year or two I used it and that works fine. But uh, this gives you a little more control over and gives you a balance because with the slow release you still have to amend with other things. That's kind of a guessing game when you need to re-amend. That's why I like using a uh, fertilizer injector and I use. Um, so basically it comes into here. Um, and this is an assembly I bought from Nolts Greenhouse. This bypass assembly and it's a little bit of redundancy. Um, this has its own pressure regulator and another filter so i'm basically doing that twice so i could um, probably take some of my other stuff off since so i've got these but i just leave them on there and any problems so i can uh, route the water if i want to uh, turn it off and just run just straight water i can bypass this piece but with the in uh, in use it um, feeds from this reservoir i'm using a concentrate of dinagro is a sucks it up into this one to 100 injector injects into the water stream that's coming up through here and then this goes out to my plants so I've got a T fitting here so I can do a row and then I've got that goes out to a 90 degree and this is my other row so these are, um, you know, pull some of these weeds out of here. Um, yeah, I've got weeds in there. But, uh, so these are my plants. Um, with each one, every, I think, 36 inches. Yeah, I've got it spaced 36 inches. There's a quarter inch barbed T. And each side of that goes to another barb tee and then that goes to a uh, half inch drip emitter so per plant i've got two so per plant i've got two half a gallon per hour drip emitters and that gives you a slower uh, saturation but but more evenly distributed um, so I, I like using those you can get um, one gallon and 
um, two gallon per hour emitters. And you can also get variable emitters, but those those uh, waste a lot. So these are probably, to me, the most efficient for the setup that I've got. And then, uh, yeah, so every 36 inches I've got another another set of those. And uh, then I have my timer set to come on uh, twice a day for 10 minutes uh, each time. So 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. And, and for this setup that works, I'm using some modified hippie containers have an overflow and the bottom part is filled up above that hole with perlite, chunky perlite. Then there's uh, just reused potty mix above that so it keeps a little bit back it's kind of as a reservoir but still adds an aeration layer so the roots don't get drowned. And that's worked really well and it's been a big savings on nutrients and water. In this particular setup I can do 36 plants. I've got uh, 18 on each side so um and they're doing very well and the benefit of, of this is it saves you a lot of time and but the downside is is a little more upfront cost and there are more points of failure things that can break but if you're out here all the time anyway you're going to notice like one time i um my injector was broken, or the ceramic sleeve was broken. I noticed my plants were getting yellow and did a nutrient test on what was coming out of the emitters and it was zero, so I mean they, they weren't getting any nutrients. So I mean, you have to keep an eye on some things, but this year so far, knock on wood, I haven't had any problems. Plants have been doing great. Lots of nice, lots of nice fruits. Um, there's a gorpy in there. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that. Uh, occasionally people ask me um, about my drip system and I just want to show how I've got my configured. There are a lot of different ways you can do these. And um, one thing I recommend, and I'll put a link in the description, and I'm an affiliate of theirs, but I would recommend them regardless, is uh, Drip Depot. That's where I get all my parts from. And they have uh, pre-configured kits based on the type of drip system you want. So if you kind of browse down you can configure a system that will give you a starting place and um, and their help support is really good and they respond quickly I always have with me with uh, suggestions and they can kind of help you build out your system based on what, what you're trying to do and the prices are really good uh, the only thing I didn't get from them was my um, fertilizer injector and this bypass assembly, I got that from Nolts Greenhouse and Supplies. And they don't have an online shopping cart, but um, they have a PDF and you find the product and you call them. But their prices are actually very good and their support's good. So I'll put a link to them as well. But I uh, got a good, you know, good price on this. They also have the mixed wide injectors, really good price on those too. And those are very good. Um, I believe they may even have the Dosatron, but I'm not sure. I know they carry these in the mix right and these um, they sell a little thing kind of like this too But I sort of just made my own with a um, it's basically just a hand truck and I strapped this bypass assembly to it and um, Kind of weighted it down with center block and I'm just using a five gallon bucket And I'm using a tight fitting lid here and I put a, a 10 millimeter hole was a perfect hole for this But I put a little bit of silicone just to seal it to keep rainwater out and that's worked very well but anyway, um, so yeah, it's been been a very good system for me, and um, I want to share that. Um, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.